Hey, you're watching Vinyl 4 Miles, your best resource for music and audio gear reviews. Today, we're checking out the new Universal Fit line from Ultimate Ears Pro. If you've been looking to make the switch from wedge monitors to in-ears but couldn't afford it, now's the time. Stick around. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Michael. This is Vinyl for Miles, where we talk about all things music gear, guitars, vinyl, you name it. If that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. Today, I have the pleasure of checking out the full Universal Fit line from Ultimate Ears Pro. Today's video is intended for those who are looking to get into in-ear monitors, but they don't have the cash due to the custom molded ones and they want to get started small. If that's something you're interested in, we're going to dive into this video and we're going to start with the most basic question. What are in-ear monitors? What's the difference between standard earbuds and in-ear monitors? Well, typically it's the type of driver that they use. Most earbuds that you're gonna find on the market use dynamic drivers, and most in-ear monitors are going to use armature drivers. It's small, efficient, compact, and it allows you to pack multiple drivers into one earpiece. When it comes to in-ears, the way that these are molded, tested, balanced, and profiled, are specifically made for live environments. All right, so now that we got what are in-ear monitors out of the way, why don't we dive into why you should make the switch? So most live bands have played with wedge monitors. Wedge monitors are speakers that either require power or they come powered, project the sound that you're playing on stage directly to your face. So one advantage of in-ears is the sound isolation. While you have these in your ear, it does a great job of blocking outside noise, including your drummer, your guitar, the bass, you name it. This also eliminates the need for you to compete with other stage volumes. If you've ever played a gig and you couldn't hear your guitar, bass, or your vocals, you're constantly having to crank those up. That can lead to some severe feedback, especially if you are a singer. That's why you see 90% of professional singers using in-ear monitors. And additionally, in-ear monitors give you the flexibility and freedom to move around the stage and not lose your mix. Now, one last crucial benefit of using in-ear monitors is actually preserving your hearing. It does have that sound isolation and it does protect your ears from loud amps, loud drums, you name it, it's gonna give you that hearing protection. Let's go over a list of things that you're going to need to start using in-ears over wedges. If you're watching this video, I'm assuming you don't have a full in-ear rack mount, but if you're in a pinch and you're looking to spend less money, you can buy the 250s, 350s, or 150s all under $400, and you're gonna to wanna to pair it with a receiver and a transmitter. This can transmit to up to four receivers. So if you're in a four piece band, you can use this no problem. Everyone will get the same mix though. And that mix, it's worth noting, will be mono. So now that we understand what in-ear monitors are, what are the advantages of using in-ears live, let's go ahead and dive into the specifications and the individual models with the Ultimate Ears Pro Universal Fit line. Ultimate Ears Pro obviously is the industry giant when it comes to in-ear monitors. Now, before they had the Universal Fit line available, everything was custom molded. You'd have to get your ear scan done or you know they shoot foam in your ear, basically scan your ear canal and you would get a custom profiled and custom shaped in-ear that was basically only for you. Ultimate Ears Pro has over 175,000 scans of people's ears. They know the most common dips and indents in those ears. So when they were making these in-ears, they're not just relying on the fact that you're gonna use that tip to keep it in. They're actually creating the body and the case to be a universal fit to lock into place and not fall out of your ear. Now the cool thing about these in-ears is they come with the legendary sound that you're gonna get and the profiles that you get with their pro level gear, but it's gonna cost you a fraction of the price. Now the Universal Fit line is made in the same factories as their other products. So the $3,000 21 driver version that you're getting versus the UE350 were made in the same place, the same quality, the same standards. So you know you're getting a professional product. So why don't we take a look at what you get in the box with each one of these Universal Fit in your monitor sets. So we're gonna go ahead and start off, they're all pretty much the same when it comes to packaging. It comes with a hard case, and this is, again, the same hard case that some of their $2,000 range in years come with. It is aluminum, very nice, and it's soft on the inside, so you can store your in-ears in there, no problem. They fit perfect. It comes with a cleaning tool. Now there's two parts to this cleaning tool here. You have a brush and then you have a little wire. The wire is great for getting all of the gunk and earwax out of your in-ears, which is critical to having clear sound. It comes with their premium cables here, so you do get gold tips on the cable. It's premium wound. You do get the little cinch 
so you can tighten it up once you put these on. You're gonna get a pack of memory foam ear tips and then you're gonna get a pack of these standard ear tips. Depending on the size and shape of your ear, you do have a lot of choices here. Making a seal is gonna be very important. So when you get these, just make sure that your ear is getting that full seal and that these sit in the canal, not outside to isolate sound and give you the full mix that these were profiled for. The last thing that this comes with is a one year warranty. So it gives you that peace of mind that you can take these on the road for a year. And if anything happens, you'll get a replacement or repair. All right, so let's go over the product line. I'm gonna show them to you one at a time. So we're gonna start off with the 150s. So here we have the UE 150. This is boasting a neutral frequency response, ideal for a wide range of musicians, including vocalists, keyboard players, and guitar players. Now this features a sleek black design on the outside with the Ultimate Ears logo. Now I've tested these out extensively. I've listened to them in a live environment with a guitar. I've listened to some focused audio. I've used it with my dock and my amp. It's gonna have a single dynamic driver in here, and this is gonna give you probably the flattest EQ out of the bunch. So if you like that raw, flat sound and you're not too concerned with bass response and dynamics, this is gonna be a great choice, and it's only $199 to start. Again, it comes with all the stuff that I showed you previously, but this is the UE-150. All right, so now we're checking out the UE-250s. These are gonna deliver a tighter bass response and more sensitivity and detail. Perfect for drummers, DJs, bassists, and guitarists alike. Now this one features that really cool Galaxy faceplate that I was talking about. This typically will cost you 100 to 199 extra if you're ordering some custom ones. The 250s are going to be the midpoint when it comes to this new product line, and honestly, these are my favorite faceplates. These do feature dual balanced armature drivers. So again, the 150 is gonna have the dynamic driver and then you're gonna start upgrading the 250 and the 350. So speaking of the 350, let's take a look at that one. All right, so here we have the 350s. Now this is gonna offer the most clarity, the most volume and the most smoothness across the frequency range. This is ideal for any artist or any instrument and these are also appropriate for focused hi-fi listening. Now these ones are gonna feature that premium carbon fiber faceplate and that is real carbon fiber on there. It looks really cool when you balance it in the light. This one's gonna look really cool on stage too. This is going to have three balanced armature drivers built into it. And this is going to be the highest quality of the bunch. So if you're looking for the best sound quality, the 350s are definitely going to meet the standards that you're used to. Now these ones are gonna sound very similar to the UE6 Pro. Uh, that typically will run you about 749 with Ultimate Ears and those are the custom fit ones. Now it's also worth noting with all of these models, you can use aftermarket ear tips. These are very easy to take on and off. You literally just have to pop it off. There's the inside and pretty much anything you could buy online, any aftermarket memory foam or standard tips, whatever you're thinking of, it will fit in here. All right, now that we've gone over the full universal fit line, the 150 through 350, let's go over really quick if you're brand new to in-ears, how you're supposed to wear these. Now typically you want to lace them behind your back. You're then gonna find the appropriate left or right ear. Typically, if you see the cable here, how it's bent backwards, that usually goes over the back of your ear. So the first thing I do is I stick it in, I drape the cable behind my ear itself, and then I kind of twist it into place. So if you could see there, that is snug and it already pretty much cut out half of the sound that I'm hearing in the room. So I'm gonna start talking louder once I put my right one in. So let's do the right side, same thing. You're gonna to wanna to just stick it in, drape the cable behind your ear, then push and kind of twist it into place. You're then gonna take the little cinch in the back here, hopefully you can see that. You're gonna pull it tight. So it sits tight like this. Now these are going nowhere. They're not gonna pop out like a head bang, move my head around. These are not going anywhere. You're then gonna take your pack, which I have here, the X5 U4 receiver, you're gonna plug them in, clip it to your belt, and you're ready to go. To pop them out, it's worth noting, you can just hold the actual body itself, pull it out a little bit, you then grab the cable, pull it fully out. I wanna recommend not to pull the cable to take these out. You don't wanna fray or bend this cable because cables do wear down over time. They do sell replacements online, but it's worth noting, just be gentle when you're taking these in and out and make sure you keep them clean. All right, so now let's talk about my personal feedback and impressions after testing these out for a two week period. The noise isolation on these are excellent, better than any in-ears that I've tried that are not custom molded. To give you an example, this is what it sounds like when you put them in. You can barely hear the audio around you. It cuts down on background noise. It cuts down on pretty much everything. and isolates just what's inside the in-ear monitor. 
The sound profiles that I was getting from the 350 were completely immersive. It brought out the bass, the clarity, and the mids in some of the sound I was listening to, and the hi-fi flak files that I put it through. It sounded even better once I plugged these in-ears into my dock and my amp. When you get into the hi-fi range, these definitely hold their weight. I would say though that the 150s, I would not consider in the hi-fi range. So I think it's worth the extra $100 to $200 to get the 250s or the 350s. Now between the 250 and the 350, the 350s had a little more clarity on the high end. The 250s had a little more heaviness on the bass. Now they have about the same bass range, but because that high frequency is missing in the 250s, I think the 250s would be great if you're a bass head, a drummer, or if you're just a fan of bass in general. Now first and foremost, it's crucial to find the right fit. Go through all of the ear tips. You want full isolation. If you still hear a lot of sound getting in, you don't have the right tips. And if you don't have the right sizes that are included in the box, look online for some aftermarket tips. If you're having extended use with these in-ears, it can get a little bit on the uncomfortable side, so it's nice to just pop them off once an hour, let your ears breathe, and put them back in. Now, while in-ear monitors are great for preserving your hearing, it's still imperative that you're not cranking the volume too loud. These are extremely isolated drivers and you do not want to crank it so loud that you're damaging your hearing. And finally, it's great to practice good hygiene with in-ear monitors. They come with a cleaning tool, so make sure that the earwax, first off, you should be cleaning your ears regularly before you pop these in, but when you're done using them, give them a quick clean. Again, this is gonna be $199 to $399 for each one of these in-ear monitor packs. Whether you're performing on stage or practicing at home, these in-ears offer unparalleled sound quality and comfort. At an affordable price point. So thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next video.